What's up everybody? This is Urziel99 and today we're going to be doing Tidal Basin. This is the Black Tusk Stronghold that you have to complete to advance to World Tier 5. This will be technically a replay because this character is already World Tier 5, but it is at the story difficulty. So it'll be a little easier because you'll be facing World Tier 4 enemies. This is Wyvern. The antivirals have been secured at Tidal Basin. That's my girl. You always were my favorite. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Got through to the boss. He wants that stuff somewhere more secure. Can you stand by there till we arrange transport? Will do. What's the ETA? It's probably gonna be a while, so be ready for trouble. The division's bound to come knocking. I sincerely hope they do. Uh, no, you don't. Black Tusk took the antivirals to their stronghold at Tidal Basin and are planning to move them to a more secure location. We need you to recover them before that happens. We've ID'd a weak point in the perimeter of the base that should get you inside. We'll have a helo on standby to extract the antivirals once you secure them. As you can see, this is where they made insertion. They've got these massive hovercraft. They've got walls all along the... Uh, Wyvern all along the setup here, so not gonna be easy to get in, but we have a way. Now of course like most strongholds it's a very long and involved mission. See, I got. I got most of my ammo back because by destroying armor sections, your Liberty Talent, the Liberty Talent procs, which gives you 20% of your ammo back. Looks like another. See, there's the walls of the stronghold, <coughs> but we're going this way. We need to retrieve the antivirals before Black Tusk can move them somewhere safer. Head down into the sinkhole and locate the maintenance pump room. We rigged explosives there that should get you inside the perimeter once you detonate them. to the side here. I hate guard duty. Don't okay, fall. now find the detonator. The explosion should cause a cave-in that'll put you just inside the wall of the base. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to use, you know, a couple hundred pounds of C4. And this is a gas line. Running, running.
Got it coming. As you can see, that, that gateway has turrets, which are indestructible. So if you stumble too close, that's what you got to deal with. Fortunately, there's another way. Signal source detected. That sounds promising. Could be a way to intercept Black Tusk comms. Got a sniper up there. They're staying just spread out enough where I can't use the grenade launcher. Invincible when they first land, which is kind of bullcrap considering you can you can shoot them. when you get four players on this map and you start doing it on hard or challenging this place can get this this map can get pretty hectic Isaac into. I love how they tell you that. They, they insult you in Spanish. Pretty sure they said, like, go with God in Spanish. It's like, okay. Alright. Before we do that, let's check around. You have to play this mission on World Tier 5 to see this key. Hmm. Wonder what that unlocks. 
and keep it'll, an eye out. It'll be important later. You won't see it if you're just coming into World Tier 5 from from 4. But when you replay it during the weekly invasions, you will see that key. Enemy transmission intercepted. This is Wyvern. Prep the helos. We need to get these antivirals out of here. The division is inside the compound. You need to make sure none of those birds get airborne. We can do that now, Madden. The containers are ready for pickup. What's the status on those helos? Gonna be a few more minutes. We're working on it. Shit, copy that. Man, so they're okay, they're trying to exfil the the containers with the broad spectrum antiviral by a helicopter, and we have to stop them. Find a way to keep those helicopters grounded. of firepower is how it happens. A lot of hardware on site in a relatively short amount of time.
last thing we need is those heavy gun platforms. And there's the mechanic. You can tell he's got the AA-12. Yeah, the Black Tusks don't have engineers. So they don't set up turrets, but they have a lot of those. They have those warhounds and those mini tanks, which are just as bad, if not worse. Way to disable them. Right, right. Hold them off while I get the inner gate open. We've been compromised. Reinforce the main gate sector. Okay. Now we have to defend this position while the team lead comes up here and works on that laptop.
As soon as the area is secure. Them, send up a flare to signal the support team. We'll stand by here and cover your ass. I feel like I can do this all day. It's like, yeah, so can I. I'm just better at it. <laughs> okay, listen up. Plan B. We'll transport the antivirals by hovercraft. I want these cylinders on separate vessels. Intercept those cylinders. We can't let Black Tusk get away with a single sample. They're transporting them there by Warhound, as you can see. We have to, st and there's three cylinders. We have to stop each one. I can't let them leave with any possible sample. that. Oh boy. He's going to pose a problem. They're 
always fond of these EMP systems, but... Alright, I set up the flare. Additional cold storage device detected nearby. Get that second antiviral cylinder. The support team will secure the first cylinder in the meantime. Alright, no man. Chill your shit. those sharpshooter drones. The rushers drones are just basically glorified suicide bombers, but the sharpshooters, their drones will actually uh, stun, have fire tasers, kind of like Twitch's drone in R6 Siege, except it actually shocks you, which means you stand up out of cover and you're like which, of course, leaves you wide open shot for the marksman to just take your head off. Needless to say, not good. thing about the rushers drone is or if you if you get them right as they launch you'll, actually, you'll usually severely damage if not kill the rusher because they'll be right over her head the other way around. right there. If he'd have kept going, he'd have ended me.
Sample secured. Preparing to exfil. Oh, Copy that. Good work. Shit. Portable canister detected nearby. They got on that hovercraft, apparently. I'm hit. Losing control. That helicopter took out the turbines. We're fucking stranded. Wyvern, you need to exfil on foot right fucking now. We need those goddamn antivirals. You want me to run away? I thought you knew me better than that. This is an order, Wyvern. Wyvern, do you copy? Get on board that hovercraft and secure the rest of the antivirals. The support team will protect the cylinders. Okay. We got lucky that that division helicopter crashed into the engine. Otherwise, they'd have got, been able to get off scot free. Okay. Yeah, I love how their jammers supposedly work on us. Don't work on. Somehow those jammer grenades mysteriously affect armor even though it's just an energy wave. Call me shit murder. See, that was a fragmentation grenade, so it doesn't do as much damage, but it causes bleeding. It has a little bit bigger radius. But I prefer the concussion grenades more because, you know, instead of doing 90,000 damage, they do like 350,000. <laughs> and we got some more signature ammo. Okay. Remember that key we had earlier? This is where it comes in handy. This chest will contain a sniper rifle called the Adrestia SR1. Incoming backup request. And in order to get an exotic piece for the exotic sniper rifle, you need to deconstruct it. 
because I already have the exotic sniper rifle, it's just a weapons case for me. Get those rocket launchers prepped. Talk to me, Wyvern. What are you doing? I'm gonna blow up the motherfucking White House. Are you out of your goddamn mind? We need to cripple these assholes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Christ, she's insane! Agent, do whatever you can to prevent the launch of those rockets. Rockets at the White House, unless we stop her. Okay, this is for all the cards. This is where the crazy starts. Okay, we destroyed the primary power for the missile launchers. Radar and this battery. I'm gonna remember killing you. It's been a while since I can say that about anyone. I'm told. Come to save the day, huh? But you're a real goddamn hero. E enough small talk. All right, there's Wyvern.
Unfortunately, she likes to make herself invincible. decided to bring out the Warhound. Crazy lady, it's just you and me. Oh, did I take half your armor off? I'm not sorry. Did I take the other half of your armor off? I'm still not sorry. Antiviral cylinders are secure. We'll make sure they get safely extracted. antivirals and shut down a key black tusk stronghold not to mention preventing a rocket attack on the base of operations incredible work agents like, truly incredible but there's still more to do there always is guys had plenty of ordnance they could pretty much bombard DC into the Stone Age if they wanted to. But yeah, now that the president is working with these guys, I guess he's been declared a traitor and now I guess the division is the top game in town.
mission area. Uh, ambushers. I'm getting reports that Black Tusk is present with the old hyena again. Target the site and see what you can find. Yeah, that's it. Before we go, we're going to take a quick look at the unique sniper rifle. See it here, Nemesis. I can't equip it, of course, because I have Liberty equipped. But it does 277,000 damage, which is not quite as good as the sniper rifle, the TAC 50. Let's see. I watched the Watchman, the Black Tusk Sniper. That's actually Puck is who you get the blueprint off of. And it's a charge shot. Time to reach max weapon damage is reduced whenever a shot does not kill an enemy. So if you hit them even though you do full damage in higher difficulty levels that's not going to kill somebody. You might strip his armor off, but you're not going to kill him. But you'll get a faster charge. Then uh, aiming and at an enemy marks them as your nemesis for 15 seconds, letting you see them through walls. They essentially become pulsed. You gain plus 5% damage to your nemesis for each second they are marked to a max of 50%. So this is handy if you can, when you uh, mark an enemy, you, a you aim down at them, and you just, you let that stack to plus 50% damage. With the gun and a sniper rifle, you could probably take out a blue and seriously damage an elite. Not the armored elites, but the conventional elites. And then preparation. While holstered, gain 25% headshot damage with when scoped with your current weapon. So as long as you're ADSing, you'll gain 25% headshot damage. And when you add using this with a Say the marksman special, the sharpshooter specialization with its bonus to headshot damage, and then using a scope with a high bonus to headshot damage. It'll be uh, pretty crazy. But I tend to run primarily demolitionist. I've just got it to have it. Hey there. That'll do it for this episode, Immersion 99. I'll see you next time.